Yo, what it do? It's Revamp Glint, and I'm here with another video, and this one has been a long time coming. Today, we're going to talk about why I quit my corporate job to pursue being an entrepreneur. I'm still going to work, but corporate America just wasn't it for me. Stay tuned. Uh, we'll explain why. So not too long ago, I left my job as a DSP, direct support professional, to enter the world of business slash finance because I have an accounting degree. I and mean, I didn't want to be labeled as one of those people that went to school for one thing and never had a job, right? So I'm like, you know, chasing, the, chasing some type of ladder, right? I left my job at, I'm not going to name any companies, but uh, as a direct support professional, I supported individuals with mental and intellectual disabilities. Um, very, very rewarding, you know, job, make you feel good inside. Left there to go to a credit union where I was a service rep. Pretty much anytime a member comes in, I take care of them, their financial needs. We could talk loans, we could talk credit cards, we could talk uh, overdraft, pretty much anything and everything regarding their account. I also hold an account there. So, you know, it was just something I enjoy doing, being a service unto others. I just didn't feel like it was enough money. A accounting firm that I applied for my last semester in school or my last year in school, I interviewed with them before. I didn't get the job, saw that they were hiring again, applied, and this time around I got the job. So October, I started just doing little things in preparation for busy season, which is tax season. Started in October, training, like detailed training kind of started in January, February, I guess. Something like that, yeah. Uh, did about two weeks of training, virtual training, and then I was off to the races to start completing tax returns. You know, great company, by the way. Great company. This is definitely a... It's, it's it's me, not you, um, or it's not you, it's me, you know, <laughs> type of deal. A fantastic company. Uh, if anybody wants to know about the company, they can hit me up. I will gladly, um, you know, keep in touch. And if someone's interested in working for them, um, I would love to make those connections for you because it might serve you better than it did me. And again, I repeat, this company is phenomenal, like a great company. Anybody would be glad to work there. I was blessed to work there and know who um, I met there and stuff like that. Fantastic company. <laughs> Two weeks in, getting to the training and stuff like that, I started experiencing headaches, right? <laughs> like, you know, you get headaches when you learn something new and, and you're applying the knowledge and all the information that you're gaining. I'm like, all right, cool, you know. It, it's a headache. It's a headache, whatever. So next day, another headache. And then a day after that, another headache. And then it started to culminate into me having a headache when I was going to bed, having a headache, waking up, and just a headache throughout the day, uh, immense pressure on my head. And I'm just like, all right, when is this going to go away? So training ended, uh, and, you know, we're a week into uh, doing things, a week, two weeks into, you know, knocking out returns and stuff like that. I'm communicating with my uh, seniors. I'm communicating with uh, peers. I'm communicating with managers. You know, I'm like, all right, you know, knocking out certain things, due dates, and, you know, getting after it, applying this stuff, asking questions on video calls and stuff like that. So I mentioned headaches a couple of times and three-hour uh, video calls trying to learn this stuff. And in the same token, I wasn't, wasn't going to the gym. I wasn't creating content uh, consistently, which is something I love to do. And it was just, it was just, just nonstop, you know, just nonstop headaches and nonstop pain and pressure. And then me, like, I'm like, why is this happening? Why is this going on? Like, what am I doing wrong? Like, why is nobody else feeling like this? And I had, my mom came over, I had a conversation with her. And she reminded me of a time where I was in Amazon and I was in Am I was working at Amazon trying to get after it. <laughs> and 
I made it a week in Amazon, right? Made it a week. And it's not, it was nothing nobody could do to make me go back to work at Amazon. And so, you know, I prayed about it, asked God for some guidance. Just show me, just you tell me what I should do. Because as a man, you know, you're, you're in this place of, I have, a, I have to provide for my kids and stuff like that. You know, I have to make sure they're always taken care of. And then on the other side, one of the homies, uh, OPC Sosa was just like, listen, you don't have to be broke if you don't want to. You don't have to be broke if, if you don't want to. And I, that's something I hold close to my heart every day because for some reason, when, when I feel like troubles are Ray, I feel like OPC Sosa always end up hitting me up or sending me like, keep going, bro. Just keep going. Don't stop. And, bro, it means everything. And there's a few other people that, you know, I go to when I'm in that headspace of not knowing where to go, what to do, where to turn, how to turn, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I begin to hate myself, man. I begin to hate myself. I'm like, man, like, like, you're not a quitter. You're not a quitter. Just keep going. You can do this. You can get through this. But my headaches did not subside, right? Needless to say, I pretty much had my decision made already you know because nobody wants to go through that type of pain or pressure um at a at a job and sometimes i think like did i did i give up too soon or um is it not for you could you sit behind a desk at all times like can you sit at a computer screen every day all day and you know i chased the money i chased the money i definitely chased money and it didn't pay off. It didn't pay off at all. I was making really good money pursuing that corporate ladder. And in the end, I just, it, the corporate ladder just wasn't for me. It wasn't for me at all. But I will tell you what I have been doing because I haven't, technically, I haven't been working for a month. I haven't been working for a month. And my bills are paid. My kids still have smiles on their face. You know what I'm saying? And I have a smile on my face. And you know what? I left. I left that job. The day, the next day, my headache was gone. <laughs> it was gone. And I like, I was thinking to myself, was that a placebo? But I was really experiencing headache. In the meantime, um, like, yeah, so I quit that job. I quit that job. And because of the headaches, um, I didn't give a two week notice. I always like giving two week notice because I do not like burning bridges. Me chasing that entrepreneurial dream just isn't enough. You know, it isn't enough to bring in um, the money that I need to take care of them and make sure that they're always good. So um, I was rehired at my my old job, uh, not the bank, not the credit union, but uh, back supporting individuals with mental and intellectual disabilities. Um, I'll be working the overnight shift so I can't be home when my kids are home so they can see my face and know that they have a supportive and loving father at all times. But I also started uh, selling my sneaker collection. Um, I had basketball shoes just sitting. I mean, you can see some behind me, my uh, Cherry 11 Lowe's uh, that I'm going to be listing later. Um, and I have the the 11 Legend Blues um, that I'll be listing later as well. Um, but I also started customizing sneaks, um, in art, like it's art for me. Um, I would love to do a giveaway of those. Um, I have some Crocs that I want to design. Um, but yeah. Um, and I'm editing and creating content more consistently again and streaming more consistently and really diving into learning Adobe and everything art wise i want to start doing emotes i want to start just being creative i just want to continue to learn that and grow and and show my kids that yeah you can do a nine to five because nine to fives aren't bad they're they're they work for people um you know and i ha i'm going to have a job i'm always going to have a job because they have to be taken care of and there's no question but um i just i don't know i just couldn't do it i couldn't do it I remember like going through training and just not being able to sit still. I started making random noises to like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. It was just a crazy, crazy experience. But again, I say this company is fantastic. They really, really invest in their people. 
the team that they have is phenomenal. I had so many people reach out and check on me, which meant everything. But um, yeah, man, I had to go. I had to go. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Like there's there's some other projects that I'm working on, clothing wise. I'm gonna be looking at different things. Um, but yeah, I've been I've been really like learning from the people that did it before me, like. Like I wear Nike and I want to just wear me. I want to wear my own stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. We have a, we have a lot of work to do, but I feel like I'm at a good place where like my mind is made up on the things that I want to accomplish and continue to do. Um, and you know, we'll see, we'll see. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, who knows where this video is going to end up. Um, I have a lot of side pieces and projects that I want to implement. So um, I just want to make sure it looks a certain way um, because it's it's at a certain target, you know. So um, as you can see, all my social medias are flashing in the corner. I forgot to turn that off. Um, I forgot to turn off my like my goals for Twitch and stuff like that. So I, I'm a work in progress, you know, um, but stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, make sure you click the sub button. Make sure you click the notification so you know when I post. Um, and you know, we got, we got some things coming. So, you know, until next time, thanks for listening. Thanks for caring. Um, yeah, we're after it.